The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. China's President Hu Jintao expresses his nation's deep sympathy to North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-il for the hardships created by recent flooding as he pledges to provide emergency relief materials. Meeting in Qatar's capital city of Doha, Qatari and Iranian dignitaries confer on expanding mutual cooperation in scientific and cultural fields. U.S. Governor Bill Richardson of New Mexico State is meeting with Cuban representatives to further enhance potential trade and cultural partnerships between his state and the Caribbean island nation. The Czech Republic's provincial reconstruction team based in Afghanistan's Logar province provides immediate humanitarian aid, including drinking water, food, blankets, tents, and other necessities to flood-affected Hasarak area residents. Representatives of North Korea and Cuba attend the opening of an artistic exhibit in Havana, Cuba, displaying books, photos, and other North Korean cultural items to commemorate the 50th anniversary of their country's diplomatic ties. A United Nations-funded program implemented by the Bangladeshi government teaches newly married couples to recognize danger signs during pregnancy to increase maternal health and save infants' lives. Ukraine Foreign Minister Konstantin Grishenko and Syrian Foreign Minister Walid Mulalem meet pledging to further their country's bilateral relations, including working together for shared economic benefit. After dozens of wild burrows were found perished near a dried spring in a California, USA desert, the Bureau of Land Management airlifts thousands of gallons of water to save the remaining burrows in the herd. French engineers unveil a manually controlled yellow submarine called the Scoopster, which is powered by pedal and can reach speeds of 8 kilometers per hour while going to depths of 6 meters. Foreign ministers of Ecuador and Peru, Ricardo Pantinho and Jose Antonio Garcia Belaunde, respectively sign an accord to establish binational embassies that will provide services to the citizens of both nations. Families of the 33 Chilean miners rejoice to watch a 40-minute video giving them the first glimpses of the men who are still underground as the government makes efforts to maximize their physical and emotional comfort during the estimated four months it will take for their rescue.